So straight to the point. On the jurisdiction issue, you will remember that first there was the argument that this belongs in the High Court. It doesn't belong in the Supreme Court at all. And so people felt the Supreme Court should not... Hello, do you hear me? Yes, we can Hello? hear you. Yes, yes, okay. we can hear you. So people felt the Supreme Court should not entertain um, uh, the case at all. And the Supreme Court took it. Now, in this written ruling, the Supreme Court has made clear, using cases and explaining at length, that one, it is beyond doubt that whenever there is a constitutional interpretation issue, it belongs in the Supreme Court. That is beyond doubt. Nobody has used that. So the argument that there was no constitutional interpretation, I've heard many people say this was very clear, everybody understands what it says, and so there is no doubt about it, and it shouldn't have gone to the Supreme Court. That is totally debunked. It is debunked even on the fact, before it went to court, that certain people disagreed. The fact that you have a view, I have a different view, showed clearly that there needed to be somebody to break that uh, you know, jam. So the Supreme Court was effectively, I mean, properly invoked just because there was disagreement. Then there was the point that, oh, it should go straight to the high court. And if the high court felt there was a problem with interpretation, then they refer it to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court deals with the interpretation. Then it refers back to the high court to finish the matter. Yeah. And some of us made the argument that no. The Supreme Court is the Supreme Court, and where there are significant issues afoot, and when there is clearly inherent in that case an interpretation issue, the Supreme Court can assume jurisdiction and deal with it. In fact, I use the word can seize jurisdiction and deal with it. Many of my colleagues disagreed with me, but clearly the Supreme Court agrees with me. The ruling, and if you look at page, I think page 33, clearly they have made the point that I made. And used cases and explained at length is a 100-page document. So let me just summarize it, saying that when in one case you have matters of interpretation and then other matters which um, are specifically given to, let's say, a high court, the Supreme Court must necessarily take it. Because you don't want a situation where it goes there, it comes back, and then it goes there in wasting everybody's time and going back and forth. So the Supreme Court was right in its assumption of jurisdiction in this matter. In short, this case clearly had a matter that could have gone to the High Court if there was no interpretation issue. But uh, because uh, it came together with an interpretation issue from the then the proper thing to do was for the Supreme Court to take it and deal with it because the Supreme Court is higher than a High Court, regardless of the fact that there was a specific jurisdiction to the High Court.